I was scrolling through Pinterest earlier, which is kind of where I normally get my food recipe ideas. Teriyaki sausage or a pizza. Kick back, relax, let it all hang loose. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video. My name is Kimberly, and if you are new here, subscribe, join the daily student family. I am so happy to have you here. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we are gonna be doing the highly requested what I eat in a day video. And I kind of thought to spice it up, we're gonna incorporate a food haul as well, just to give you guys an idea of my typical weekly shop. Now guys, I cannot tell you, it's so frustrating because today of all days, like you know when you plan ahead the day that you wanna have like a takeaway or a pizza, kick back, relax, let it all hang loose. But then I also remember this was the day that I'm filming my what I eat in a day because it's a healthy eating video and I wanted to film what I eat 95% of the time which is healthy, but I was so set in stone that today was my pizza day. <laughs> and I'm just so upset because like, it was all going to plan. I was gonna have my pizza, pepperoni, chorizo, and now I'm just gonna eat healthy. So before we get into the food haul, these are the shout outs of today's video. And if you guys wanna shout out, all you have to do is follow me on my Instagram link here, give this video a massive thumbs up, make sure that your post notifications are turned on because I'm gonna be literally replying to every single one of my post notification squad. I love my post notification squad. Screenshot that you've done all of that, send it to me on my DMs on Instagram so that you can be in a chance next video's shout out. So guys, this is the recipe for today. I was scrolling through Pinterest earlier, which is kind of where I normally get my food recipe ideas because everything on Pinterest just pops off so much. I'm just gonna insert a picture right here so you can see what we're aiming to make. And I know poke bowls are like a really popular American style going out meal. Go out like with the girls, with the guys to be like, hey girl, you wanna go for a poke bowl? But in England, we don't really say that, like do we? Because here in England, not many people talk about poke bowls. Like, do we? Is that an English thing, poke bowls? Susan, do you want to go for a poke bowl? No, I just, I just don't think we say that here yet in England. So I'm going to be trying a poke bowl. I wonder where it actually originates from. Who knows? Comment it down below if you know where poke bowls originate from. But we're going to be trying that. I've got all the ingredients. So let's go into the food hall. Let's guys so this is the typical a week's food shop so here we've got the potatoes and don't worry that they're on here it's just that they're gonna be washed before they get put away next we've got some lentils salmon burgers i haven't actually tried these from waitrose before which will be really interesting to try of course you've got a little chocolate bar treat here gotta do what you gotta do do you know what i mean and then we've got some smoked salmon and now i've been craving smoked salmon for the longest time so this will be really nice to have with some cream cheese you know a little bit fancy or whatever then we've got some Greek style yogurt here, two of those. And for anyone who wants to know, they're the Yeo Valley Greek style yogurts and full fat, always. I always get the full fat ones. And then of course you've got the cream cheese, the Philadelphia cream cheese. And then we've got some rice that will go within the poke bowl. This shop was basically inspired by the poke bowl ingredients. So I'm really excited to make that. Of course on to the, you know, the most desired part, which is the fruit and vegetables. So we've got the oranges, lemons. I love lemon water and making like lemon recipes. So those are always handy oranges for like nice light snack cucumber because again it's part of the poke bowl recipe they've got some greens here so all of this has been washed after the food shop so it's just drying on the rack here and then we've got some salmon here which again now officially done. I haven't had rice in the longest time so I'm going to then cut up my cucumber and salmon, apply it on top of there and then I'm going to add my teriyaki sauce which I got today from Waitrose. Have you guys heard Ariana Grande's latest song? I think she just had one that dropped yesterday with Lady Gaga and I've heard it and it, it sounds really good because literally guys when Ariana Grande comes out with a song you know I'm going to be there. Last but not least one of the final ingredients to top it off. Pokeball. 
pop. Pokey pop. Like I feel like next time I make it, I'd like to have like sweet corn. Just a bit more variety of vegetable. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna have dinner later or a snack later. I'll fill you guys in. So friends, I'm going to talk you through what I had to eat for dinner. Now I just thought it's better doing this as like a talk through because the lighting in my kitchen is so annoyingly dim. There's no natural lighting. So it's very hard to see what I'm really doing in there. Dinner, I just really wanted something different to obviously what I had for lunch, which was the rice. And I was craving chips. And now to make it slightly healthy, I just made my own homemade chips. So again, cutting up the potatoes, washing them, preparing them like that. I always add my favorite seasonings to my chips before I put them in the oven just so that they can really infuse potatoes are really good they're healthy obviously in moderation like with any carbohydrates but i just love having homemade fries you can make them as crispy as you want and i just like chips where you can have an extra crispy crunch so of course i had to do that today to kind of like replicate like a kfc chicken and chip style dinner that i really wanted i then made chicken as well so again seasoning it and i just put mine in the oven now if you have got to this far in the video comment down below oranges so that i know you're a a real one and I know my early notification squad and I also know my people who get to the end of the video so I love you guys so much if you have you are the truest and don't forget if you want to shout out for next video all you have to do is follow me on Instagram give this video a massive thumbs up turn on your post notifications screenshot that you've done all of that send it to me on DM on Instagram and you can be in a chance of me next video shout outs now guys I will see you tomorrow have the best rest of your day I love you guys so much I'll see you guys very soon